No. The, the Lewis Dragon emote. Need, guys, you need to stop posting because I won't be able to pay attention <laughs> to the dog <laughs> tell of the TV. It's so good. <laughs> it's so, like, it's just so way good. back and forth. I, it's uh, like that, <laughs> that brand deal is so good. Just how yeah. much content has it come gave out so of much yeah, amazing them stuff awkwardly from that being one. there. Yeah. I think um, the, what's the, the, what's bathroom, the, name? the bathtub, the Gwendolyn Christie interview, the dragon. Oh, man. I thought the Gwendolyn Christie interview really showed off how good she is at interviews. Because she yeah, was that's yeah. true. so good. She, she probably was, was like, prepared keeping like Lewis that, to, going, to interview like, some awkward yeah. nerd and then just she kept the conversation flowing well later. i will say lewis is really good at this as well like but I, like she she yeah. was like she took over and he, lewis was able to just like completely slot in in a mm -hmm. one like it was one of the best interviews i've ever like seen in a game yes for like an outsider mm -hmm. if you get me yeah yeah 100 it was a super yeah. great interview yeah i mean i i'd never seen like i I played a little bit of wow but not enough to like properly understand it and for me that interview was great yes i will say like Watching, I recently went to a wedding. It was Dr. Simon Clark's wedding. It was a lovely experience. Luce was there as well. There was a couple of like yognauts there who were like nice. friends of Simon's. And like one of them just sat down and like Lewis was just bam, straight into conversation. Dude, like you can just deploy him in a room and come back like an hour and a half later and he's just still like having a conversation. Yes. He's just so, mm. he's such a good social butterfly now. He used to be so bad. It's like really, yeah, he's, yeah he was so he's bad. Learned. He's so good now. Lewis did a really great job, I feel like, making me feel like I was at home when yeah. I first got in here. Because I was like, when I was a little bit uncomfortable, I would turn to him and be like, um, help. And he kind of like, oh, here's where you get your like, here's where the water is, here's where the tap works, yep. you can get your tea. And like, I really, really appreciated that because he kind of like made me feel like, okay, I know where everything is now. I know what I need to do. And uh, I feel like he, in that Gwendolyn Christie interview, he was like a really, really good foil to her curiosity. Yes. He was like the, because like he made like a couple of jokes about like, well, you know, living in the underworld, etc. Heaven and hell. Yeah, heaven and, and hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that stuff. And that, like, I was yeah. nearly cracking up. I was like dying laughing. It's perfect. So it was a really, really good interview. Yeah. I mean, if, if you ever come to like Bristol outside of the Jingle Jam, yes. the dude will always, like, he will always take you out for a meal. He'll take you out for lunch. Yes. He'll show you to like all the places he would go. And he'll like stay, like, if, if you've got, say, you're literally there just to record one thing, you'll go record that one thing whilst you're doing that. He'll be working at his desk. Once you're done, he'll just take you out. He'll hang out with you, play board games with you. He doesn't have to do that. He's no. he runs a fucking company. He's trying to organize the Jingle Jam pretty much six months. Mm -hmm. He's talking about yes. Ashton Kutcher. No, we're talking about Lewis Brindley, oh, okay. the Yorks cast. But uh, easy mistake to make. I was thinking Ashton <laughs> like, Kutcher. It, it, it's mad because like outside looking in, you don't see like how good he is at like his role. <gasps> the ball. And he's so good. Whoa, oh, that's some so serious much. money. Hugely inspirational. Much love for everyone. F for Lewis. F for Lewis. F for Lewis. Yes, thank F you. for Lewis indeed, yeah. Uh, thank you, Ryden Duncan. But we are doing this Lewis in his put honor. So honestly. much work into the jingle jam. Mm. We uh, can yeah. kind of excuse lost. him not feeling well day one. Yes. Ah, screw us, stuck around for so long. Yeah. He, yeah. he was a soldier too. And like I like I, I guarantee you, if someone had said to you, Lewis, you gotta be here, he would have been here. Lewis? Yeah. yeah, yeah he maybe yeah, like absolutely. five yeah. years ago. If, if no one else was here, he would have yes. had to yeah. One hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Uh, JT but you know, we, we all Lawrence. told him to basically go. Yes, <laughs> we, that, 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 you know? and, and that's what the wonderful Come thing on, is. Like, go, you all look you after go. each other. Thank you, yeah. JT. He's got Lawrence. so much of the event ahead of him as well because he's always on the most streams each year. Yep. Yes. It wears you out too. Yeah. I remember the first year that Xylus did it, he came back complaining that he was on like 30 streams, and we we're all like, oh, suck it up. You're famous. Who yes. the fuck cares? I come over here, I do two streams, I was exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> I think the mad thing about Lewis is he did like the Triforce podcast this morning. And then he did. I know, and yeah. Then he, and then he spent the entire oh like God. mid afternoon like making sure everyone was situated. Yeah. Then he does the cat stream and then the train stream. It's like, where do you find yeah, time yeah. to just relax? Yeah, it's not. I'm surprised that he yeah. felt a, a bit rough, you know? Yeah. yeah. 